Hey booze, welcome back. It's your girl Mina. If you are new to this channel, hello. Thank you for joining me today. And if you are already part of the fam, hello. How are you? Thank you for your continued support. Yes, I am back today with a makeup tutorial. I have been slacking on the makeup a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because I've really been loving vlogging. So I took a little break. And then also if you see, you know, I have a nose piercing. I'm a little hot. These lights. Uh, well, the nose person has kind of, you know, held me up on the makeup game, you know. It's about two weeks now, so, honey, <laughs> I've been applying some makeup. What I'm going to do to kind of speed this Valentine's Day look up is I'm going to go ahead and apply my base, which is going to be my primers, my moisturizers, my foundation, and I'm probably going to go ahead and apply concealer as well. So I'm just going to run through some of the products that I'm going to be using. I am going to be using some setting sprays as moisturizer and as primer and as regular setting sprays. So I'm going to be using some rose water here. I'm then going to be using my Smashbox primer water, which I love. And for my foundation, I am going to be using the Maybelline 24 hour wear foundation. And this foundation is off the chain. I may mix in my NARS Radiant foundation I'm not sure yet but I may do it if I do it I'll let you know and then I am going to be using my LA girl pro concealer as my concealer for highlighting I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back I have my base on okay and I did end up using the NARS natural radiant foundation over the Maybelline foundation just because I wanted a more glowy dewy look the powder that i'm going to be using under my eye to brighten and also catch any loose powder that falls out is this cover fx translucent light powder and i absolutely love this setting powder i have it in the light and i also have it in dark and i love both i'm going to go ahead and put that underneath my eyes oh that was too much how have you guys been i mean I'm sure you guys have been seeing my vlogs and if you are watching my vlogs, I appreciate it. I really love vlogging. You know, like I don't do a lot. <laughs> um, but if you do watch them, I hope you enjoy them for their work. You know what they are. People live regular lives out here. A lot of people live regular lives. I think sometimes people who vlog just like do it up a lot. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, showcasing my little old, my little happy life, you know. That's all, that's all it is, just a little happy life. Now we're going to go ahead and get started with the actual eye look. So I'm super excited about this eye look because I am going to be using a product that you probably wouldn't think about using for an eye look, but I'm going to be using a matte lipstick for eyeshadow. I'm also going to be using this on my lips. I mean, it's a Valentine's Day look, okay? Red has to be somewhere in the mix. It's Valentine's Day, like, come on. First, because I want the eyeshadow to pop and have its full potential of color, I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prime pen, and this is in Bright Forecast. I'm gonna use this to put down on my eyes just so I can have a really nice base. But yes guys, everything has been going well and this has been a common topic on my channel, which is school. School is back in, this is my last semester and then in May I'll be graduating with my master's degree. So I am ecstatic, ecstatic, okay? Yeah, so after May, you guys are going to be getting consistent content from me, okay? Consistent, consistent content really consistent and then i'm close to like having popping out kids and it's like super duper dark. i'm like nervous about it you know what i'm saying if you have kids please comment below you know let me know what your journey is like um let me know how you're liking it okay i'm going to go ahead and get started with the eyeshadow look and i'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can really see what's going on for my tra first transition color i'm going to be using my becca mineral powder and this is in the color tobacco and i love this color 
I'm also going to be using some new brushes today. If you watch my vlog, then you know that I went to Morphe store, never been into a Morphe store. So please check out my vlog because you will see some neat things that I did pick up. And even though you don't see like the details of the things, you know, you did see where I went because they may be showcased again example now you know i'm showcasing the brushes that i bought from the morphe store so i'm going to be using the morphe m531 brush so here is the brush okay just a regular blending brush you know nothing dramatic and i am just very lazily brushing that in the crease okay trying to create some definition i am going to try to create as much definition as i can in this crease of mine okay so what do you guys do for valentine's day um i really don't know what i want to do and i really don't know if i want my husband to do anything because he went like crazy for christmas and then the vlog that i was speaking about prior it it's actually like a surprise weekend trip and you know so i mean honey he just did it up okay and i'm just like i don't want nothing for valentine's day you know you can just take me out to eat you know but you know i, I really don't want anything too crazy this blending brush it's it's it's, it's there it's, it's off the chain it's off the chain you need to get it it's off the chain to go along with that you know vibe of valentine's day i am going to be going into my modern matte palette i really do love this palette i featured it on my channel before it's very inexpensive and the color payoff is bomb okay i am going to start with this red color it's like a red mauve color i really don't know how to explain it but we're going to start with that and i am going to be using a coastal scents brush white hair blending brush and it's stained so um yeah we're going to go just a little bit below the crease and i'm not going all the way in i'm going like probably three-fourths of the way into my crease just going to build that up let that sit there like i always say if you watch my makeup tutorials i like to place my makeup down let it marinate a little bit you know what i'm saying and then i go back and blend it out okay so that's how we're looking it's time to move on to the exciting part which is the liquid lip stick and we're just going to start placing it on the lid and this dries really fast. So if you do try this, you have to work fast, honey. Okay? Work fast. Okay. So I'm just blending that out and up, as you see. So I'm blending it into that color out of the Beauty Treats palette that I just placed down. And that's one reason why I don't blend automatically because you know I'm gonna place the color down and when you first place the color down it is at its maximum pigment so this liquid lipstick matches the maximum pigment very well of the reddish magenta color that I used out of the Beauty Treats palette so I don't want to blend it out yet Don't judge me, okay? Just keep it moving. Just pay attention to the eyes because, honey, they are out of control. I'm going to go back into that Beauty Trees palette and we are just going to blend for our lives, okay? Not still, not taking that much product, but we are going to start right where the liquid lipstick ended. And we are just going to blend that out and up.
All right, don't get nervous. We're going to blend, okay? Don't get nervous. We're going to blend. So I'm going back into that face powder that I first used, and we are going to blend it in. We're going for our lines. Okay, so we are going to blend those edges out. And I'm going to go back and forth in between the uh, mauve reddish color and the face powder. And we're just going to make sure everything turns out nice and even. So we're going to do the same thing over here. Get a little bit of that product. And we are blending for our lives. So we're going to go back and we're going to do the under eye. The under eye isn't going to be anything spectacular. I am literally just going back into the Beauty Treats palette and using that reddish mauve color. Right, you guys so for a little bit of sparkle i've used this in some of my other videos as well and i really do love this product it is a eyeshadow palette by ruby kisses and it is called dear diary siri and sunset kiss and oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness and i be shook when it comes to these inexpensive palettes and they actually have really good pigment payoff honey i will use them to death Okay, so I am going to go into this color right here. And as you can see, you know, it's kind of following that same theme. And I'm just going to place this in the middle of the eye and I hope it's not too dark. But yeah, we're just going to place this in the middle of the eye. Oh my God, that's perfect. Yes. And so we're kind of gonna take that a little bit high. But if you do have hooded lids, take it up higher. You have to overcompensate. So when you close your eye, okay, you see how I have that little crease there? I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'm going to put some sparkle even higher. So now I'm going to take that same color, but I'm going to use my finger and I'm just going to pack it right here on the middle. Then I'm going to take a clean blending brush. This is a Coastal Sense brush as well, and it is a BRC S08. And I'm just going to kind of blend it out very lightly right here. We're done with the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move that out the way because it can destroy a lot of things. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish up the face. I only set the areas that I highlighted, so I wanna go ahead and set the rest of my face. And I'm going to be using that other cover effects powder. I was in Morphe. And why not get a powder brush that was amazing? So I got this baby right here. Yes, isn't she a beaut? So beautiful. Okay, nice and big. I mean, and it's so freaking soft. You'll just see how smooth my face gets, like it's insane. Look how smooth that looks. So to, of course, bronze, contour, whatever, I'm going to use that powder that I use as my transition color, so the Becca Mineral Powder and Tobacco, and we are just going to focus right here, okay, to bronze and chisel. And then I'm also going to use my Kat Von D shade and light palette. And I'm going to be using this darker color right here. So like right there. Just get that in the back and blend it out and up. So if you've watched any of my prior makeup tutorials you know that lashes have 
it's kind of a thing of the past so i have gotten this mascara i don't like it i'm just gonna be honest i don't like it this is the voluminous lash paradise waterproof mascara and this is by l'oreal don't like it but i bought it and so therefore i have to use it and i don't feel like putting on lashes so we're going to use this honey and we're going to do the best that we can I like a highlight that looks natural. You know, you have some people on here who go ham with the highlight and it's like, sis, like the Lord can see you. They're just using highlighter that does not fit their undertone. It just doesn't look good, period. You know what I'm saying? I don't think anybody puts on makeup to look like a clown. I'm sure you put on makeup to look, you know, cute or whatever. love to bring the cupid's bow out Also, there's nothing more sexy than a glossy lip on Valentine's Day, you know? You want your lover to look at you all night and look at your lips and be like, mm, I wanna kiss them lips so bad. So I'm just going to add a very neutral gloss on top of this. And it also lets your lips feel a little bit more comfortable. Especially me, I'm up here, feel like in the North Pole. So I need something that's going to be moisture. All right, so that is the completed look and I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, thank you for joining me and I'll see you guys on the next video. Smooches boo.